So recently I started work on Furtherance for mobile. And if you don't know my app Furtherance, it's a time tracking app. And right now it's only on the desktop. It's Windows, Linux, and Mac. And to get it on mobile, I really wanted to make sure that it was on both Android and iOS. And that's really tricky these days. At least I feel like it is. My favorite one of the main languages and frameworks out there for mobile is Swift and Swift UI. That's the one I enjoy working in the best, but of course that's only for iOS. And so how do I get it on Android then? I went looking into all the different frameworks and I basically found that my main two options would be Flutter and uh, React Native. And there's also this Kotlin multi-platform now, but it looks like that's still kind of like in early days and I don't like Java. So I kind of threw that one out right away. And I also don't like JavaScript very much. So I threw out React Native pretty quickly. And that left me with Flutter. I've built stuff in Flutter before, so I don't hate it. In fact, there was a lot of things that I really liked about it. Um, but every day what I work in is Rust. And I just really dislike switching between two languages. It's always clunky. It always makes me have to think more when I even just write like an if statement or something. It's different in each language, how you write that stuff. And I just didn't really want to add that overhead to the project. Like one of the reasons that I didn't have furtherance on mobile yet even though I have had it on mobile in the past, was just that extra overhead. That's why I never maintained it. I didn't want to keep going back to Swift where I had the iOS version. And I wanted it on Android, so I also before had a Flutter version, but that's old and outdated now. I would have to add so much stuff, and there would be a lot of complexity, so I'd be rewriting most of it. And I just didn't want to go to that other language and have this thing that I knew in the future I would be less likely to update just because I didn't feel like getting back into Flutter. Or maybe I'd be less likely to update the desktop version because I didn't feel like getting back into Rust. So I just wanted to make sure it was as simple as possible. And again, that's super hard right now on mobile. I feel like there's just not that many great cross-platform frameworks for that. But I found Dioxys. And Dioxys is super cool. It's a fully Rust platform, multi-platform, actually available on all desktops, the web, and both mobile platforms, iOS and Android. So I could technically have this thing written for Windows, Linux, Mac, a website, and also iOS and Android all in one code base. That's really nice. But it also left me thinking, like, is it really that great, though? Because a lot of things have promised this type of thing, and they just end up not being great. In fact, I believe Flutter actually does the exact same thing. You can technically write for all platforms just in one code base. But how many Flutter apps do you know of out there for desktop? Like, I think there's a few on Ubuntu now, but I just, I don't know very many, if any at all, that I could name. So I was just looking into Dioxys and I realized like this is really exactly what I want. I didn't love Tauri, even though that's also really cool. I didn't love it for the fact that the front end is written in JavaScript or HTML and JavaScript or however you want to do it, while the back end is Rust. I really wanted the back end and front end to be together like it is when I write Swift in Swift UI or like it is when I wrote the desktop app of Furtherance in Rust and Iced. It's all in one place. It's all in Rust. You don't have to think about anything else and you don't have to do the hard work of connecting the two. Tauri makes that easier, but I still found, I messed around with it for a bit and found that it's still not so easy. So... Dioxys was the answer, and let me tell you, I'm really loving it. It's all the great things about Flutter that I remember, but writing it all in Rust. And even better than that, in a way, so I've always disliked the like web view look 
of things like React Native on mobile. It just doesn't have that native feel. Well, Diaxis kind of has that issue as well because everything is written HTML and CSS and it doesn't use JavaScript because since it's all written in Rust, you can just use Rust as what you would do, normally do the JavaScript stuff with. So it's a little bit simpler in that way. It's super easy, of course, to just write HTML and CSS for front end. And HTML is within Rust. So they have their own RSX, it's called. It's like HTML within Rust code, basically. And it just makes everything super simple. But it does add the problem of everything looks like the web then. But what I found is that with CSS and HTML, it's actually super simple to... I've just been looking right at my phone and how I had it in SwiftUI. And I've just been copying the way that the buttons look and everything directly so that it still looks like a native app and feels like a native app even though it's technically just html and css so i'll jump into it here um this is my code and let me pull up the main.rs so this is the basics here i have my database initialization and i have dioxys launch and this just launches the app. And so depending on the tab, you're in the time review or to-dos or whatever. And this is all RSX. So as you can see, RSX here, and then you've got your style sheet. So that's all just Rust code. And div is a Rust code, the ID. And then you can just have a match statement and then have the different tabs and everything. It's super simple. And let's see what it looks like. So if I run dx serve dash dash platform ios it'll pull up right here super simply i didn't have to do anything else to configure it it just pulls up right here in the iphone simulator and there it is so i got this together in it's been about 20 hours of work so far i've gotten this entire timer page i've gotten um, the to do page and the shortcuts and my settings so i have all of these views so far already built in and most of these work so all of the settings work and imports don't work yet the delete doesn't work yet and the server stuff kind of works um but as you can see like all of these toggle switches they look i mean besides this clicking action you know i can get rid of that but they all kind of just look like the ios style and it basically looks exactly like my iOS app did. Even the buttons and everything. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm still playing with it and I'm gonna keep playing with it. In fact, I'm gonna be making a bunch of videos of me building out the rest of this app. So I already have these views mostly done, but there's still plenty more to do. I'm hoping it's gonna be finished in about a month or so. And I'm hoping that because, or I already know that, because Dioxys uh, allows me to use all of my previous Rust code from the desktop app, basically all of the back end is finished. Some of it has to be modified a bit to work with the way that state works with Dioxys. That's been the biggest pain is just converting the state. But besides that, everything basically just works. My whole database just works. And I was able to get up and running super easily just by creating the HTML and CSS for the interface. So if you're looking to make a cross-platform app right now and either you know Rust or you want to get into Rust, I would highly recommend checking out Dioxys. And that's also for selfish reasons. I think we should get more people onto this platform so that it gets built out faster. It is still in beta right now. It's at version 0.6. So a lot of things still don't work. I still don't think that you can have like notifications on the phone yet, at least not super simply built into Dioxys. Um, and there's some other little things that are more integrations into the phone like that that don't work yet. So it's not going to be for everybody yet, uh, but hopefully it will be soon. Hopefully we're not too far from a 1.0. And keep looking into it and keep watching this channel and I'll be showing you how I'm going about building everything in this app and I'm just really excited that everything can be in Rust and just done this way. Like it just really takes a load off my shoulders.
and I really didn't want to start jumping into different code bases. So I just wanted to talk about the new Furtherance Mobile and also about Dioxys real quick. And I'm going to be doing more Dioxys tutorials as well as just the daily building of this app. And that way you can watch the progress as it comes along and see how easy or how hard it is to do things and everything like that. So yeah, thank you for watching this and I hope you continue to watch these videos and I will see you in the next one.